Good morning, YouTubers. This is a real quick overview of my bug out bag. I'm changing bags, so any input can help me out to add or remove. Uh, I have a change of clothes. I have a Glock 23 with three magazines, a couple knives, 300 rounds of 40 caliber, 1,000 rounds of 22 for my 1022. I have a 50 round magazine for my 1022. The other ones in, I have two of them actually. One's in the weapon. I have a tarp, emergency blanket, a poncho. I saved some of my dryer lint and put some rubbing alcohol in it for a fire starter. I found these grill toppers in the dollar store, so I bought some for my bug out bag. I have a sewing kit, a little waterproof container with band aids and all that in. I have a gator to cover my face, my thigh rig, my camelback, my canteen, my belt, my duty belt basically. The green pouches are actually ammo pouches, but I put my red boxes of 40 cal in it, my cleaning gear. This one over here is, I have tourniquet, uh, Israel bandage, another emergency blanket, a compass, compressed gauze, some other gauze, some tape, batteries, uh, things like that, just ordinary stuff, I mean, what most people carry anyhow, but let me know if I should add or remove anything of this. Uh, right now I have a regular, like a little National Guard backpack that I'm changing out, um, getting something bigger so I can add maybe more food, but I did 23 years in the military, so I know how to live off the land and how to control my eating. So, but let me know. Uh, in my vehicle, I have a box that has water, more MREs, some more ammo, and some more weapons and all that. But I normally carry a Taurus PT 24-7. I have a concealed handgun license, so I carry that normally on me. It's my everyday carry. So I'll just do the Glock in there for a secondary weapon. Um, let me know if the weight wise is very heavy because of the ammo. But let me know if you guys can think of something I could remove or add to it to make it a little bit more efficient wise. Uh, it weighs about 35 pounds total with all this. So because I got a lot of ammo, it's just some. Um, like I said before, 23 years in the military, you can never do go without enough ammo. If I had to trade it for food, I could trade it for food, or I could use it to help me defend myself on food. The class of a baton, I see everybody talking about baseball bats for zombies, but I figured that baton would come in a little bit handy as smashing skulls. So, so. But uh, just let me know if there's anything I should add, remove. Uh, just let me know. This is my overview of my bug out bag. Thank you for your time. Have a nice day.